This bout one fall or 10 minute time limit. In the red corner, 221 pound from Houston, Texas, Tommy Pritchard. And to my left, a 265 pound from Kansas City, Hacksaw Butch Reed. Your referee, Carl Fergie. Wait a minute, I got something to say here. I got something to say. Everybody knows I came out here three weeks ago, issued a challenge to Terry Taylor, and I beat him right here in the middle of the ring and proved to everybody, Bush Reed, that I'm the number one contender for the North American heavyweight title. Now, I know all the sports writers, all of the promoters are saying that Butch Reed is the number one contender for the world heavyweight title. Well, let me tell you something, Butch. I say no. I say I'm the number one contender for the world heavyweight title. Ric Flair heard about what I did. He called me. He offered me a lot of money to take care of you, and I said, Ric Flair, keep your money. I don't want your money, I want your title. What the bottom line is, Butch Reed, I'm saying that it's not me that's ducking and dodging and running like you're always accusing me of. It's you that's ducking and dodging, and I'm here to issue a challenge just like I did Terry Taylor. You wrestle me right here, right now, on television, and we'll find out who the number one contender is for the world title. Let me tell you something, Mount. I'll wrestle you anytime Anywhere, any place, my man. But I got a match right now signed to wrestle Tom Pritchard. And if you want some of me, it don't make no difference to me, brother. I'm right here, right now, whatever you want to do. Well, maybe I can just change your mind. Hey! 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 Pass getting out of the ring, ladies and gentlemen. Hey! I saw Butch Reed just threw Tommy Pritchard out of the ring. And the bell, Carl Fergie's called the bell. Well, I tell you what, we've got mayhem, and we've got a match, DBIC and Hacksaw. Butch Reed is really firing away. He blasted. He blasted Ted DBIC, I'm telling you. DBIC staggered. He's really, he falls all the way out of the ring. I tell you, Joe, I, I didn't believe for one second that Butch Reed was going to stand around and take that jazz from Ted DBIC. Butch Reed certainly not that kind of guy. And if it comes down to having to prove to everybody that he's still the number one contender for the world's heavyweight title by wrestling Ted DiBiase, he ain't afraid to, to do it. Butch Reed backs down from no man. And DiBiase's one time out. Oh, cheap shot, DiBiase, a little subterfuge there. He is a tactician, no doubt about that. As DiBiase's trying to turn the tables on Hacksaw Reed with those right hands. DiBiase wanted to make a statement, a very physical statement, but Butch Reed is the number one contender for Ric Flair's world title. Well, DiBiase knows that he's got to go out and get the momentum quick on this big monster. That's the only way he can have any hope against him. Reed is so tough. Reed with a double rear cup, he just about had to fall on DiBiase. Reed with the headlock, but DiBiase, DiBiase trying to fire out of that headlock, but to no avail. Well, you've got There's hacksaw. one inch guns, brother. I'll tell you one thing, when those guns wrap around your head, he can make that what is, looks like a seemingly very simplistic maneuver, the headlock, a very devastating maneuver, because it is a devastating maneuver, especially when you bench press well over 500 pounds. Mr. DiBiase is feeling that right now. There's where the cauliflower ear comes from. Well, he's definitely squeezing away on it. Ted DiBiase. Rocking and railing. Lateral press, this could be it. Butch Reed. Attempt to fall, headlock. Back to the headlock again, but it's gonna take more than a headlock to pin the big cheese. Ted DiBiase using the tights there. You can see up the camera angle, DiBiase pulling the tights. Referee Carl Fergie pushing him right back over. Now you look at the arms on this man. He has got it all. He's got strength and speed, size, experience. No doubt about it, the number one contender for Flair's world title, as I mentioned last week, for the July in the Omni. I did a little eavesdropping. I heard Ric Flair telling some other men he does not want at any cost to ever wrestle Hacksaw Butch Reed again for the world's title. I'll tell you what, Ted DiBiase, even though he likes to run his mouth a lot, is certainly way up there in contention for that NWA world's title. He's a master tactician. He's a great athlete. 
and of course he is a master of Flair's pet hold of figure four. Butch Reed still clinging tenaciously to that headlock. You control the head and you've got the body under control. Right now it's Reed who's, who's thinking out, planning ahead. Not DiBiase, when you're in that haze of pain, it's tough to think about your next move. Reed with a hard shoulder smash. And a hard right to the head. And you heard the oohs and ahs of this packed house at the Irish Mill Boys Club. The soup bone found a home. Butch Reed back to the headlock. Again, DiBiase going to the tights. Maneuvering referee Carl Fergie out of the way and going to the tights. Reed still has a little room to get that one shoulder up, thank goodness. Axel Reed with those massive arms wrapped around the head of Ted DiBiase. He's grinding away at that headlock. Don't you forget, ladies and gentlemen, and don't go away. The Bounty Hunters against Cowboy Bill Watson. Hacksaw Duggan coming up next here on Mid-South Wrestling. Jim, only on Mid-South could you see a main event like this. A main event in any part of the world, I guarantee you. Japan, New Zealand, Australia, wherever you go, this would be a main event, and you're seeing it right here on Mid-South Wrestling. An impromptu main event, I guess, but a main event nonetheless. Ted DiBiase and Hacksaw Butch Reed, two of the premier athletes in wrestling. Ted DiBiase has extricated himself from the headlock and now he's driving the shoulder home on Hacksaw Butch Reed there in the corner. Referee Carl Fergie trying to break it up. They should have broken it there in the corner, but DiBiase trying to punish it. Reed with a knee to the face, direct to the, the cheek of Ted DiBiase. DiBiase with a back play. A very sound strategic maneuver. Reed has been utilizing the headlock very effectively, DiBiase. Very sound tactical maneuver by Ted DiBiase. The referee a 10 count in effect for both men. You see the referee counting this crowd chanting. Well, Reed's held the momentum thus far in the match. Ted DiBiase gets his first successful aggressive maneuver. I'm telling you, DiBiase is a great, great grappler. And uh, there's no way, I, I don't think it gets anybody that you wouldn't see him at least give the guy a good match. DiBiase attacking the neck, a choking. Vicious trying to choke the air out of Butch Reed. Trying to slow down Hacksaw Butch Reed, take away a portion of the oxygen, his fuel that he runs on. DiBiase with a hard right cross, another blatant infraction of the rules. DiBiase with a chop inside the turnbuckle area. Reed connected with a right cross, but not fully, as DiBiase continuing in his onslaught. Snapmare. DiBiase to the rear chin lock. Jim, now we see DiBiase trying to control the head. Exactly right, Ted DiBiase trying to control not only the head, but the tempo of this match. It's Ted DiBiase against Hacksaw Butch Reed. If you just joined us, this match was not, not signed. But DiBiase came, issued a challenge to Hacksaw Reed. Reed, of course, accepted the challenge. DiBiase likes to stick his nose in business where it doesn't belong. He's well, always very vocal, always outspoken, but he certainly, uh, you've got to give him credit for challenging Hacksaw Butch Reed. Reed is a great, great athlete. I Reed with the top wrist lock. I don't think DiBiase can match strength to strength, no doubt about it. But DiBiase taking another shortcut. Referee once again was maneuvered by DiBiase out of position. Let's not fault the official in this situation. It is extremely difficult to stay in position with someone as experienced as Ted DiBiase. Oh yeah, no doubt about it. DiBiase certainly knows how to maneuver the uh, official into an advantageous position for himself. And now he's maneuvered Hacksaw Butch Reed into an advantageous position for himself because he's got that rear chin lock locked in tight and now he's taking Reed off of his base. Reed is down and Carl Fergie is checking his arm. Ted DiBiase has choked the oxygen off, but Reed is trying to get come back from it. Have Reed failed to answer the referee's uh, arm check there the third time, referee Carl Fergie would have had to call the match in that instance. Reed goes to the turnbuckle and uses his a, as, as an ally to break himself out of that rear chin lock. Smart strategic maneuver on the part of Reed. 
DiBiase was really trying to cling on to that rear chin lock. That was his saving grace. Reed. Reed and DiBiase now battling it out toe to toe. Reed gets the upper hand, blocking a few rights and connecting with a few of his own. And now Reed's got the momentum and a switch back in his favor. Reed with a hip toss. Reed with a drop kick. Beautiful drop kick. DiBiase feels the sting of the canvas, but he's up with a right to the midsection. Both men to the ropes. Reed fires DiBiase off hard, and what a collision. Both men are down. Carl Fergie with a count. They've got a 10 count to get back up. DiBiase's up to his base. DiBiase up to his base, and it looks as if he's going to the tights. He went to the tights, and he's loading up that glove, but he's got Carl Fergie once again out of position. DiBiase is so sly with that thing. He goes to swing, but Butch Reed ducks it. Butch Reed ducks the top of drop off the ropes. Again, DiBiase swings, jockeying for position. DiBiase holding onto the ropes, avoiding the monkey flip. DiBiase piles his hand on the mat. He missed Reed again. And remember that glove, that glove is loaded. He's got, he's got the glove loaded. Reed's working on the right hand. Reed is working on that glove hand of DiBiase. The weapon has turned against DiBiase this time. With the extra added momentum of whatever it is inside that glove, it has to hurt quite a bit to be thrown against a turnbuckle like that. But DiBiase's still in it. He's still going. Elevation. Butch Reed elevates DiBiase out of the turnbuckle. But again, Butch, we got... Oh! Butch with the slingshot. Lateral press and cradle. Oh, yeah! That's all Butch Reed. That's why he's the number one contender for the world title. And that's why Ric Flair doesn't want any part the of that man. The feet, Jim. There you see the number one contender. That